it's 2024 and you can still walk into a Best Buy or any other computer store and purchase with real money a computer with four gigabytes of RAM. Companies are still selling that scam of a computer to unsuspecting, mostly old people. So if you have an old person that you help with technology, please go and tell them right now, four gigabytes of RAM is not enough. I just booted up my computer and literally have six browser tabs open and it's already using 3.2 gigabytes of RAM. What are you even able to do with four gigabytes? Well, seven tabs? <laughs> now, to be fair, some of these laptops might still be worth picking up. But which ones? Well, my curious friend, I would say the ones that are upgradable. For some reason, Intel is still manufacturing their Celeron processors, but to be honest, that's a whole different video. When I mention being able to upgrade the computer, it's mostly the fact that the RAM is so insanely simple to upgrade. Anyone, even most of the old people that we're talking about in your life can probably do it. Probably. Honestly, the hardest part is probably figuring out if your laptop is actually upgradable and what kind of RAM do you need? DDR4, DDR5? Speeds, 2600 megahertz, 4800 megahertz? What do you even need? So we'll get into if a computer is even upgradable and how much RAM is actually enough in just a second. But first, what exactly is RAM? Another great question. You've really got some good ones today. Let me hit you with a couple of metaphors to help out. If your hard drive is the long-term storage for all your information, then RAM is the short-term memory. It holds all of your information, applications, documents, and things that your computer is actively using right now. So the more RAM that you have, the better, right? Well, to be fair, 99% of the time, it's not really gonna be a bad thing to have more RAM, but if you're not gonna be using it, then there's really not a need for it. RAM is kind of like a bucket. If your applications were water and you had two gallons worth of water, a five gallon bucket holds that water the exact same way that a 10 gallon bucket would. If the applications your computer is running want to use five gigabytes of RAM, having a computer equipped with eight gigabytes of RAM will work the exact same way that a computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM would. More is only necessary if you're actually going to be using it. This here is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3i from Best Buy. A friend came to me asking if this was a decent laptop for browsing the web, uh, maybe looking at some pictures they transfer from their phone, basic documents, nothing crazy, right? Honestly, not a bad looking machine for the price, especially when it's this much on sale. <laughs> Pair that with a Best Buy gift card you've got burning a hole in your pocket, and this little computer is looking pretty nice. My only reservation with, was that it only comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. Enough for most things right now, most likely, is it going to be the first thing that causes a bottleneck in the next year? Also, most likely. With how cheap RAM upgrades are, I just don't know why they sell machines with four and eight gigabytes of RAM anymore. So how do we figure out if we can upgrade the RAM in this computer? I'm glad that you asked. We must be on the same wavelength or something. That's exactly where I was gonna be going with this whole thing. There are three ways that I use to verify your laptop is actually able to be upgraded. First would be from the manufacturer's website, things like their manual, other documentation. A lot of companies share this information. It's readily available if you go and dig for it. And honestly, probably the best way to go about it, especially if you haven't bought the laptop yet. The next way that I like to do this is a website like crucial.com. They can not only scan your computer, or you can look it up via the model number here as well. The nice thing about Crucial is that as soon as you determine which kind of computer you have and if it's upgradable, it will also instantly show you which models and sticks of RAM are also compatible. The third way and probably my favorite way is to simply open up the case 
and see if there is an empty slot to put more RAM in. I got conflicting messages from user reviews on Best Buy's website. Some saying that it had eight gigabytes integrated onto the motherboard, which basically means it's soldered on and it's not removable, it's not coming out. And then an empty slot that you could fill with another stick of RAM. And some other people saying that in fact, there were only four gigabytes soldered onto the motherboard and a four gigabyte stick that you would need to replace. Either way, I went and bought a 16 gigabyte stick to add to the computer. So it would end up either with 20 or 24 gigabytes of RAM, both of which would be plenty, not only for today, but well into the future as well. Okay, okay, okay. So 20 gigabytes is enough? How, how much RAM is enough? Do we need more? Should I just max out the RAM every single time I have the option? Honestly, who are you and, and why are you still asking questions? All right, either way, my personal feelings about it, 16 gigabytes of RAM should be the absolute minimum. But as I was saying before, RAM is like a bucket. RAM is kind of like a bucket. You really only need more RAM when your computer is actually going to use it. If you're doing some heavy gaming, streaming, content creation, video editing, 3D animating, all of those kinds of things, you'd probably be better off getting more than 16. The best way to check though, for sure, to see what you're currently using is to open up Task Manager. It will show you exactly how much RAM you have, how much each application is using right now, and how much is left. The closer this number gets to 100, the more likely you would benefit from upgrading the amount of RAM that you have. For this Lenovo laptop, I paid $37 for this 16 gigabyte stick. Now, instead of having to wonder if eight gigabytes is going to be enough, wondering in a year or two why this machine is slowing down so much. This one should be good on RAM for a very long time. Once you've confirmed that you can upgrade and that you want or need to upgrade, it's typically pretty simple. A few screws on the bottom of the laptop, lift off the bottom section of the case, find the open RAM slot and pop that bad boy in. If you want to watch the full video, of actually replacing the RAM in this Lenovo laptop, make sure you click this video over here.